Welcome. So in this class, we're going to be covering a wide variety of topics, and we're going to be really attacking the topics from a couple of different angles. Uh, the purpose of this class isn't to uh, take you through a very narrow chain of uh, algorithms, but rather to give you a wide, broad overview of what is being done in the space of data science, and particularly in this class, uh, in the space of machine learning. That is, we are thinking very much about how we can use algorithms to interpret data to make results. But up until now, in terms of your uh, education, you've probably had an opportunity to explore a bunch of algorithms, but you've explored them sort of as single experiences. That is, you've looked at a particular algorithm and tried to interpret how you could use it on your data set. This class is about trying to draw connections between those algorithms. And that's really quite crucial, not so much for your day-to-day -day applied work, but for your ability to learn new algorithms and understand where the field is moving. Now, this perspective uh, is a direct reflection of my own experience. Uh, I'm not a traditional machine learning person. I didn't grow up thinking that I wanted to work behind a computer. Instead, I was an English major who became a, a conflict photographer. I traveled extensively and then uh, decided at one point that it seemed like it was a little tired of dealing with the, uh, the realities of trying to push and sell work. So I started uh, working as a researcher at Carnegie Mellon University, so in a couple of years there as a pre-doc, then pursued a PhD at the University of Chicago in statistical machine learning and uh, since then have been teaching. So I've been working um, with uh, applied machine learning techniques since around 2010. And I think it's really important to understand that the perspective I'm taking isn't from first mathematical principles, but from the perspective of working with a diverse number of clients, like I do in my uh, regular work, um, and positioning algorithms in front of the client that they can understand, that you can understand, and at the same time, giving you the core tools to interpret the next algorithm that's coming down the chain. Uh, since 2010, when I really joined this community, we have seen at least uh, three radical changes in terms of the software infrastructure and really our approach to managing algorithms. That's a change roughly every three years. Uh, we started with Java, and we were using a, a library called Weka, which is uh, very rarely used these days. Uh, and then we moved to Python and sklearn, and then most recently, there's been an outgrowth of deep learning. And that deep learning community has really uh, shifted again the set of skills that were required and really the way we think about our algorithms as we move forward. The goal of this class is really to point out the notion that some of the earlier work that you've been able to do in terms of statistics and uh, machine learning in your classes, well, it actually connects to a much broader history of what's been going on. And it's really that history, that charting from the beginning to end that this class is designed uh, designed to target. So on the one hand, we'll be talking about very high-level ideas, trying to provide you context to understand where the algorithms are coming from so that you can anticipate and understand what the next step uh, of where we're moving forward in terms of the field. And then on the other hand, we'll be talking about some things uh, in our, our live sessions and in terms of homeworks that are the nitty-gritty realities of putting the code to work. And I'd like you to try to focus on understanding that these can be separate conversations that are occurring, and each is equally important. The discussions that we have in class will largely be based on these uh, high ideas, or they will be based on just getting stuff to run. Those are the two perspectives that you have to bring if you're going to be successful in the field long term. Uh, you have to have this sort of tenacity to uh, work your way through a library um, and get things up and running, because oftentimes they don't want to work. And on the other hand, you have to have the sense of context so that as new algorithms are coming in, you can identify how you can fruit, uh, productively use them in your own analysis. Without further ado, I think it's time to get started.